All right, hey. So <clears throat> I want to uh, talk about, uh, you'll see, we did a little quick unboxing of why we ended up with the Mac Mini. Uh, but initially, we, you know, we had an old uh, used 2009 uh, Dell with Windows 7 that my wife got for free at work uh, in a giveaway. And we also previously used a 2007 iMac, um, which we also got used and broken, and I was able to get it up and wor working, but it was really limited. It, it really only could play like DVDs. Um, even browsing the internet was like almost impossible. So we really um, have been needing a new, a new uh, like fast computer for a long time, but we sort of just kept putting it off, putting it off. But we really felt that we were limited creatively in terms of um, being able to digitize things that we were doing, uh, you know, our illustrations and stories and stuff. So <clears throat> I did a lot of research, um, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe I'll buy a used Mac. I bought a used iPhone and that worked out pretty well. Uh, so I was looking at used iMacs, used Mac minis. I was looking at other PCs like gaming computers, HP, Dell, Acer, Asus, all those, those companies as well. And, you know, it really, you know, for one, the used um, Apple, like the, the Mac Mini and the iMacs, like the price difference wasn't huge. Um, so it just seemed to make sense that if we could to just buy new. So that's what we ended up doing there was like, we decided we we're going to buy new, um, decided not to go with PCs because the reliability and the customer service, uh, reviews were really not great. It seems like only if you're a business and you're ordering like tons of computers that are higher end and you're paying a lot of money, uh, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It seems like you're going to get the customer service and the reliability that you want out of those machines. Um, so it really just seemed that Apple provided like superior customer service, a stable, high quality product. Uh, and if you buy new, you're just getting the latest, um, you know, abilities, uh, in terms of the price range, but even their base models are, you know, they work, seem to work pretty well. Uh, we upgraded this, um, to the 3.2 i7. Uh, six core and with 512 gigabytes, eight gigabytes of RAM, which I may upgrade at some point. And um, in order to do some more creative stuff, we decided to go with an iPad Pro. Um, so instead of getting an iMac, a new iMac, we decided to do a Mac Mini and an iPad Pro. And I have not done d digital illustrations before, but it's something that me and the boys are interested in. Uh, you know, giving it a try. So we're sort of setting up our new uh, computer station uh, over there. And uh, that's sort of what we decided to do. It's sort of an experiment, we don't really know, but ultimately it made sense to buy new. Uh, it made sense for us to get this um, Mac Mini, even though the, the graphics card is not like the greatest, it's an integrated one. But I know you can add an EGB, an eGPU or whatever it's called, a, you know, an external graphics card if you ever need it. Um, and, uh, and we ended up going with the iPad Pro instead of like a Wacom uh, tablet just because of the portability. Uh, it just made more sense and the price. Like it just seemed like the iPad Pro could offer so much more um, then the tablets, because they're portable, if you need them to be, it's also a computer. And, uh, <clears throat> so these are some of the reasons that we ended up, um, and I'll get into those, but we haven't received the iPad pro yet. We just got the Mac mini. We haven't gotten an iPad pro pen two. So we're still waiting on that. And then I've got like some computer screen mounts that I'm going to just try to set up so we can just create a nice, um, streamlined workstation for doing our illustrations and uh, all the different computer work. So, uh, yeah, so I'll show you the unboxing, hooking it up, turning it on, and, and all that good stuff. Hey, you got it? Whoa! All right, yep, it says it right here. Delivered. All right. You gonna, you gonna pull it out? Pull it out. China. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that 
thing. Nice. Mac and Mini. Yeah, it comes with some nice. Yeah, this is like a nice we box. We can use that later for something else. Yeah, I think so. All right. It's yours. Hi. All right, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, so when did we order it? We ordered it, uh... Last week? Ordered on April 24th. April 24th, and today is the 30th. <clears throat> huh? So six days That's from day. China. Today's the 29th. This is 4th 30. Yeah, it's the 30th. It's the 30th. Yeah. Yeah, there's 30 days in April. Yeah, it says, look, delivered. Thursday, April 30th. We did it. <coughs> from China, all the way from China, this thing came because we tracked it Yesterday on UPS. Yesterday it was in China. <laughs> action, action, yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna unbox this thing. You can see it's brand new. Some black tape here. Mm -hmm. You can see there's uh, four Thunderbolts, HDMI, two USBs, Ethernet, and a power cable. And power button. Okay, so. There's the uh, ports. So I'm going to shut this down. Picking up R, yeah, it is. Uh, you need the password. You want to read it to me? Okay. Um, is it? Uh, just make. Let me know if it's capitals or lowercase. Okay. So. Um, uh, the HDMI. I've got the keyboard. USB and the mouse. USB. Power plug. And the HDMI goes uh, back there, if you can see. And, uh,
The keyboard cannot be identified and will not be usable until it is identified. So to run this keyboard, click continue. Okay, identifying your keyboard shift and your keyboard has been identified as the oldest keyboard on the planet. Okay. <laughs> one day, maybe we can update it. Get one of those fancy magic keyboards. No, I made it up. Uh, I guess we'll install updates. Automatic updates turned on. Restarting your computer. Your computer will restart in 57 seconds. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, let it uh, update and restart. Even though it's a brand new computer, there's updates. It is uh, updating and restarting. It says it'll take several minutes to complete and the screen will turn off for up to a minute. So it's, um, right now it's not showing any uh, signal to the, to the screen. It said up to a minute, it might be dark. So, oh, there it goes. So, turn yourself back on. There you go. So, so far it is saying and doing what it says it's gonna do. Okay, now it's saying about 43 minutes remaining. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but uh, yeah. Okay, so within about two minutes, it went from 43 to 12 minutes. Now 11 minutes. So that doesn't seem to be quite accurate. It'll go pretty quick with whatever updates. Okay, let's see. There it is. Restarted, updated. So I can definitely see from the old computer to this one using the HDMI that the screen is much clearer. This is only like a hundred dollar screen. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's very clear, mm -hmm. much clearer. Uh, the other one was fine. I guess, you know, you sort of only notice it when uh, you have the comparison and so really what I want to test out is like, you know, how quickly the, uh, this computer works with like scanning images, um, altering images, using the internet, because the Dell and the old, the 2007 iMac and this 2009 Dell that we had, um, just extremely slow and we just upgraded the internet too so we really shouldn't have a problem yeah <laughs> so what i noticed right away is like when i'm using the computer it's so fast that i don't even notice that i'm on the next page already i'm so used to waiting uh i don't know you guys probably have more updated computers we've been using old computers so long i'm so used to like waiting you know 10 15 30 seconds sometimes for a page to load or so it's it's really, really fast, uh, which is great. Okay, so <clears throat> I just talked to him because it was a little confusing of why it said 2018, even though it's a uh, considered a brand new 2020 model, is that essentially like the casing and the core are the same, but the, you know, it's just updated. This is a custom configuration, so upgrading to the i7 3.2, 512, uh, terabytes, I mean, uh, gigabytes of uh, storage. Uh, so those are some of the new internals that they incorporated, but it's still considered, I guess, a 2018 model. Uh, once I get the rest of the setup and we decide on either using Affinity or Photoshop and start uh, illustrating and using those programs, <clears throat> I could sure give you a better idea of like how this is gonna work, how this experiment is gonna uh, sort to of go down thanks for watching if you want to subscribe go for it if you want to like do it if you don't that's okay too i love you you're beautiful you're talented no matter what anybody says always remember that okay have a great one see ya